Hey folks, uh, in this video, I'm going to introduce a Azure Graph API method for updating Azure ADB B2C username. Uh, so if you've got a user in your B2C tenant and you want to update the username using Graph API, uh, please watch this video. Uh, let me show you. The user section in my Azure ADB to C tenant. So uh, I've got a user here in the user section in Azure ADB to C. Uh, the username is ali.alizadifard at gmail.com. Uh, I want to change this username with Graph API. Uh, for this video, I'm going to use uh, Postman for doing that, but obviously. Uh, you can call this Graph API method from your consumer applications, which is a mobile app or web app or Windows app. Uh, I've got a video for calling uh, Graph API from Windows application in C Sharp. Feel free to watch that. Uh, or you can do that uh, from a PowerShell script as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's carry on with this video. Uh, open up. Postman, what we need for calling Graph API is an access token. Uh, I've got a video again for getting an access token from Microsoft Identity Platform and use that token as a barrier token for calling Graph API. Uh, I'm not going to dive into that uh, again. So if you don't know how to call uh, token endpoint and get an access token, uh, I put the uh, video link in the description as well. Watch that uh, video. It's a short video uh, for uh, getting access token using Postman. Uh, just click send here. And I get the access token here in the API result. So I copy the access token and then go to the Next step, what we need for updating the username is a patch request. So we create a patch request. The API endpoint is this endpoint, graph.microsoft.com slash v1.0 slash users. And this is the user ID, the user object ID that we want to update the username for that. So if you want to know how you can get this in real scenario, you need to call a Graph API to read the user uh, data from B2C first. Then object ID is one of those attributes that we, uh, you are pulling from the B2C and you can use that object ID. But for uh, this video, you can access that object ID uh, from Azure portal. So if I go to portal again, if I click on this user in the identity section, we've got the object ID and we've got the issuer. So we use object ID in the uh, endpoint URL and we use this issuer in the body of the message. So if I come back to Postman, you see that object ID is used here. Then in the body section, uh, you need to create this JSON file. Uh, uh, you put this on row and you select JSON from this dropdown, then create an array of identities. Um, sign in type should be email address, issuer, you copy that from um, Azure portal and issuer assigned ID is a new email that you want to set there. So I want to change that username to Ali1. So I change it to this and uh, we need to go to the authorization in the type we select the bearer token and delete the previous one and paste token that I copied from the first API call. Now we are ready to call the uh, update method. I click on send. 
See the status is 204, which is success. If I go back to portal and refresh here, see this user is not found anymore. If I change that to add one, there you go, comes up here. So the username changed to ali onealizarifat and you can do the same thing to change it back to Ali again. Uh, so it's very easy. If you want to change a username in uh, your Azure Active Directory, you just need to uh, call the Graph API and do that. Uh, that's pretty much this for this video. It was a very short one. Uh, uh, if you think this video was helpful, please subscribe and like uh, to support us for making more videos. Thanks for watching and bye.